Today we're going to be going over our end of season 2019-2020 season awards for this NHL season. Starting off with the Calder, we have Jack Hughes. The combination of Jack Hughes and Nikita Gusev may just blow people away this year. I think Makar and Kako have a very good chance of finishing top three, but I would not be at all surprised if Gusev and Hughes finish 1-2 in the Rookie of the Year voting. Gusev led the KH on points by a mile last year, and you pair that with the playmaking abilities of Jack Hughes. These guys could really have teams in fits this season. 22 goals, 51 assists for Hughes. We're predicting the GM of the year is going to be Ray Shiro, an award that is so tough to predict this early in the season, but you get Hughes with the first pick, you pick up top line D-man and PK Subban and the aforementioned Nikita Gusev and had to give up very little in return, throw on the addition of Wayne Simmons, and this team could very well go from a first overall selectee to a legit playoff threat. Crazy how similar of an offseason their biggest rival, the Rangers and Gordon had, who will obviously be another favorite to win GM of the year as well. The Art Ross is going to Nikita Kudrov. It's ridiculous how good this guy is. It hasn't mattered who you play him with. He'll carry any and everyone on his line. The fact that he gets the luxury, though, of bouncing back and forth between playing with Stamkos and Point just makes it that much more deadly and unstoppable. It'll take an injury for Kuch to not win it, in my opinion. The Maurice Richard is going to go to the highest goal scorer in the league this year, being John Tavares. What's been known as the Ovi Award for the past decade, only thing that concerns me is this. Ovi is now 34. Eventually, a fall off will happen. Likely a slow fall off. When that starts, though, who knows? What we do know is Tavares has potted 47 goals in a season last year, where the combination of he and Marner proved worth every penny of that last free agent signing. 46 goals next year, and the Richard is his, in my opinion. The Norris Trophy is going to go to Victor Hedman. As if the Lightning couldn't get any scarier, I think they could be this year coming off a four-game sweep. It was a humbling experience for the record-setting season the Lightning had, and Hedman was a big part of those four losses. Can a team who wins 62 games really go into next season with a chip on their shoulder after the way they exited the playoffs? Yes, I expect Hedman to get back to around a point per game on this powerhouse of an offense that is Tampa Bay. The Selkie is going to go to Mr. Selkie himself, Patrice Bergeron. How can you bet against him? You know what? they say the house always wins and the house has been a selkie finalist each of the last eight years and has won it five times the Vesna trophy is going to go to frederick anderson the tricky part about predicting a Vesna winner is you got to find someone whose team will win a lot of games and someone who is durable and play a lot of games the 46 games played is arguably the reason bishop couldn't reach this, that crown last year but freddie checks off those boxes and he's been a goalie who sees inflated goals against average stats year after year due to the ridiculous amount of shots he sees night in and night out on the leafs with a career 918 save percentage and even just the slightest improvement on the leafs defense this year i think this this guy has the chance to win 40 and the Vesna. The Hart Trophy is awarded to the MVP of the league, and that MVP, again, it has to be Kutrov. There isn't a more dominant player in the league right now. You can obviously argue McDavid, but as long as the Oilers, only two forwards on their entire team that have a clue what offense is, play on the same line together, Edmonton isn't going to be a playoff team, and we often see that being a weighted factor when selecting the MVP. We're going Kutrov here. Those are our predictions. Would love to hear you guys' thoughts. Would love to hear your guys' end-of-season predictions. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time.